I've been waiting to get this Mad Cow. This I've been totally waiting for this to your own flight controller preset so you can go inverted. So do some cool 3D on it. And I was also really curious how these ESCs going to do that. So I tried a bunch of different, uh, you know, old, normal, older, you know, Simon K's and all them. They don't work at all. So I've been always curious how the hell can you go, you know, inverted. So anyway, the thing you probably have to do is get a one shot, one, two, fives. And uh, so I ordered two of some of those. So, and a programmer just in case if I have to upgrade them and uh, ESCs. So we got the Afros. I'll try the 20s amps. We'll see how it does. I want to try because I'm probably going to make a smaller model. But since you can do 3D, so I've been wanting to uh, hook it up so I can uh, use 3D goggles. So we'll see how it goes. This is the DJI 450 model. So I kind of want like a 400 size or something around. We'll see what it is. I'm sure I might have to get different motors later. Definitely have to run a four cell. But uh, I've been waiting for these. <clears throat> They're really easy and it's so ridiculous. If you already have Spectrum, man, you can get the smallest thing you can think about it. Because these are ridiculous small right here. Compares, there's nothing else in there except for the ESCs. But, uh, and then you get these too. I use the D, uh, DSMs because that's like the smallest receiver too. This is like ridiculous. This is a pinky thumb size. Ridiculous small. Same for this. This is so small. It's the size of my thumb. It's like a thumb size. I can't even do it. Pointer. Ridiculous small. This is the smallest you can get with a DSM too. Or DSM. You have to take these, you're going to have to at least kind of have to uh, hook these up with your, uh, hook to your receivers, kind of like an A8000 or whatever, they have a satellite port, plug them in, bind them, unplug it, plug this directly in, you're going to have to calibrate it into the program, which is really easy to download too, so I can't wait for these. And uh, I'm sure I'm going to get a video later for that. Now I open boxes too. Basics. Comes a quick manual. This one came. I see they're different than other photos. You can see the uh, pins are a different angle. The old video on uh, Hobby King, they're straight up pins. I like these better too. That's probably why they changed it. But uh... Yeah, I can't wait to try these. There's another one too. Here's like the manual came with them. Those are your presets. There is a quickly on the bottom. This is defaults. Settings is for 400, blah, blah, active, braking. It's going to be the on and one shot. I tried those. The reverb don't work anything except for you have the new updated one shot. So that's pretty cool. Came with the... Uh, port plug-ins these are easy to hook up hook it up really easy calibrating I use the spectrums that's why I wanted that Plug in a little port. Just a micro. Lights them all up. I'm gonna wait till I get the plug on my transmitter. And we got lit it up. Another one too. You have a D or DSM's port, then you're gonna have to have a different one because you can probably change your own, but I would just keep it to be your normal arming it with these setups and it set up right to my uh, flaps gear. These change your three modes, it's like preset and it pretty good. 
So, let's see, you probably can't even see on the screen. See it. The only thing besides you can't change the sizes on this, which is kind of bummer. Brighten this up. It'll help to see. There's so much reflections on it. No place to do it right now. Help a little bit. Easy setups. Can't really see too much right now. Should probably go up straight. Here's your modes right here. It was an easy setup. You just go into your uh, RC. You can check up all your throws. You just easily go to calibration. And say okay. Just move them all, all your throws. Same your switches. Same your arm. And they're all done. Go to complete. So you want know, to throttle in the middle because you obviously 3D modes. So you're gonna stick this in the middle, right in the middle. Calibration. Oh wait, I did it backwards. Stupid. Make sure you get your fully on them. Switches too. The arming. Please mill your stick, Doral. If I mess it up a little too fast. Okay. So then you got all your sticks and thrown up, and they're already presets. And you can change them all. She can zoom in more, but change all each modes. I was kind of furious too if you had to change setups if you have a DSM or not, but they're all pretty presets already. On and off, I had to reverse these two. For ailerons and rudder if you're using the DSM but uh, yeah parameters <clears throat> one shot I know you have to have these on because I was kept testing it because you can uh, you can turn it off and then you can go for normal ESC's or you can go to uh, reverse but you can see when I go to normal these cut off with the dead band I was really curious about these and I try a reverse don't work it just beeps like you didn't even put them up I tried an older afro but it wasn't even updated and the one shot kind of worked on it but the reverse didn't work too so I was really curious about that probably not going to have to change any of these yet just got to wait till the ESC's and see how they go Updates. I see you have to have to load it. It's like I mean, automatically update too. So you probably go back to Hobby King and check them. It's really easy to uh, <clears throat> download this stuff. You know, no drivers, nothing. All the tilts are working really good. Direction, same thing. But these are really awesome. I wish you could make these bigger. But uh, yeah, when you rechange your setups and calibrate, save it. Takes like a second, you're done. You have to plug your power into on a battery to do it, which is also cool. So, I'll have to make a new one video, obviously, when it's done. All I have to do is ESCs, which is going to be awesome. 3D on 3D. Woo! Can't wait. Definitely have it before, so right, good for watching. Though I know everyone's curious about these uh, mad cows, I've just been waiting to try these ESCs on them.